people. Sorry I can't look at you eye to eye right now. But I got you on my radar. But um, I wanted to talk about real quick. I was just listening to Dante's Boxing Nation. And um, just quickly he inspired me to talk about this McGregor and um, Floyd Mayweather again. Even though I talked about it before. What's up guys? Just ask my wedge. Sorry about the bottom view I got here. What's up? But um, I was inspired by watching Dante's Boxing Nation. And um, it was talking about McGregor and Floyd again. And um, I already did a video on Floyd in that fight. But um, I wanted to give a scenario and, and give my um, thoughts on um, this scenario. If, if, if McGregor... If he possibly could win this fight, or if he could win this fight, how would he do it? I'm not going to give him... 1,000 feet. Turn right onto the I-85 North, I-285 East Ramp. I already told you, it's, it's a way to beat anybody. It's not about the opponent, it's about boxing. Styles make fights. Um, the only way you're going to beat... Somebody like... Turn right onto the I-85 North Ramp is um you have to do what he does and that's and do it better so initially i give mcgregor mcgregor in a quarter mile oh, keep I'm left at the no fork follow signs for i-285 east make it tampa i give him no chance at all winning this fight however after watching um that little skit on a little interview on dante's boxing nation and i'm uh, thinking about it Keep left at the fork. Um, I'm just going to entertain the fact that he, McGregor, McGregor, McGregor did do it, do what he's supposed to do to win that fight. And um, going by him fighting Pauli Malignaggi, sparring him, and knocking Pauli Malignaggi down. Um, Continue on I-285 for three miles. Okay. That is a great thing, even though when you put all the things together, um, you can you can you can you can put you can you can take a lot of points from him on the fact that Malinaji was probably not in shape, you know, at all. Um, you know, which which would be equivalent to fighting. And over the hill, Muhammad Ali, somebody who you know would kill you if you if if, if it was under normal normal circumstances. So Pali Malinaji is an excellent boxer um, at one style. He's a good up on your feet and move around and get points type of guy. He's an Olympic style type of boxer. He throws a lot of punches. His defense is his offense. Uh, but for me watching the sparring match and me observing McGregor, I'm in opposition with what I heard them, them so-called experts talking about he's not that good of a boxer and he has no chance because his boxing sucks. And they're making jokes on him now about how he was hitting the heavy bag and shadow boxing. Well, I've been boxing all my life. And I'll tell you, 75% of people who box don't know how to box. <laughs> when you're talking about technical boxing. So, I'm going to give him this much. If I, I'm just giving him the benefit of the doubt. Just saying if this scenario works. McGregor... In a half mile, keep left to stay on I-285. It's looking really, really, really good. If I put it on the basis of him, if this being real. Now, that's minus the fact that he may get in, he, he may not be in shape physically. Keep left to stay on I-285. It's kind of, kind of, kind of, uh, uh, how you say it? Continue on I-285 for 19 miles. Cardiovascular. 
He may not, he may not his cardio may not be 100 percent uh, because they say he's doing short rounds, little little spots they showing him in the, on the on the TV on the on the YouTube. However, um, I'm going to ignore that and just go by the skills that he's shown. He's shown me a real lot of patience and composure. He's shown me a lot of composure. And him being a professional fighter already before boxing lets me know that this could be real. It doesn't take a great amount of skill to beat a match if you have a great, great, great amount of composure. And he has that. Um, all it takes is composure and ability to take punishment. If you can take punishment and be patient and have a plan, you can win a fight. So, McGregor, I, I wouldn't sleep on him on that. He looks unbelievably composed. I mean, he letting shots off, his timing is beautiful. He hit Polly with, with them straight lefts or right, whatever he was throwing them straight lefts, right down the pipe. Timing was beautiful. They're not that effective. He's a strong, physically strong guy, but his punching power is not great because he's not really a good puncher. He's not twisting those punches, and he not his timing is off as far as landing them shots. If he could, if he could get his timing right when he popped them shots, instead of pushing with his shoulders, he could be more effective. But his composure is what I'm talking about. He's so relaxed. That means 110 points because. Even if you got good power and you know how to punch correctly, if your timing is off and your composure is off, your reaction time is not on time, it means nothing. So uh, I just wanted to make that quick video about that, man. Get at me.